their church and I used to see the same 10 people catch the Holy Ghost to the point where I thought something was wrong with me. I'm just being real, like, real talk, like. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got a special guest today. But before we get into that, um, y'all know I be drinking. So I'm trying to do wine. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying, but it's something that I just said I was going to get because it was cute when I was in the store. And I like the bottle. And as you can see, it's halfway gone because I got a glass right here. He got a cup. And my friend back there that's off camera got a cup. So I'm going to tell y'all my opinion on this. I just like how cute the bottle is. It's like a little rose at the bottom. And this is rose. I made it look cute. With some berries in there with a strawberry on the side he just got a regular glass because he you know he a nigga we i'm trying to be fancy and shit so anyway that's it that's all welcome back to my youtube channel and we finna get to it we got some real shit to talk about this is the interview slight discussion not a story time this time but we're gonna talk about some real shit some controversial shit that y'all be like Ready to beat this nigga ass about really <laughs> technically that's what it is okay because y'all been waiting for this and it's time okay so, without further ado, I'm going to let him introduce himself because, yeah, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Sorry, he eating my food, by the way. I cooked some seafood alfredo with a side salad. It's delicious. And he said it's delicious, so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, I'm June. I talk a lot of shit. Facts. I do music. No, I care about people. <laughs> But I just do it in a different way. You know, I make y'all mad. Spark a little So is it intentional? Or is yeah. it just, So you be doing this shit on purpose, bro. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes they just be so mad worked at me. Worked up. They be already worked up. So like. You just push. You just edge it off. Yeah. At this point. But I do it on purpose. I can time, see it. So. Now that you say that shit, I can see your ass be doing that shit on purpose. <laughs> Let me be a certain follow that I see get pissed every fucking time, y'all. Y'all need to follow this nigga on Facebook. He always got some crazy controversial shit on his fucking page. Everybody be getting on his ass or he be getting on their ass. It just be funny as fuck. So, who are you? What do you do? Other than, you know, you talk your shit. Let the people know uh, a little bit about you. Make music. I've been doing that for like what? A long time. Really? Going on, well, we started when I was like 14, mm -hmm. like 13 years. Um, I be cutting her and shit too. Taught myself how to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I'm handy as fuck. I can fix some shit. So, you versatile. Yeah. And I learned fast, so you know. And he's a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Low key. Low key. Really know. high key at this point. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. That's him. Um, Other than the music, of course. Um, Tell them a little bit about, you know, how you grew up, your childhood. You got relatives. You know, for the people that don't know you that's watching this story. Watching this YouTube. Uh, originally, I'm from South Dallas. South Dallas. H.S. Thompson. Uh, stayed in Bunton. If anybody know, the power project's gone. Yeah, Bunton is gone, big um, And then she, life was cool, you know, before we moved my granny and CDL and shit. Mm -hmm. But my mom was in the streets like a motherfucker, so she was back and forth to jail. Mm -hmm. So that's why we ended up. Living with yeah, living with my granny and shit. Mm -hmm. But before we came back, we kind of was already taking care of ourselves and shit. Yeah. So. So you kind of like been taking care of yourself for a while. Yeah. At a young age. Oh, I had some sort of how to survive. You know. What okay. I mean? But that come from my mama anyway. She taught us shit anyway. So. Right. She did shit. She so. Taught us and shit. But she you was in high school, school or whatever. You played football. Is that something that you saw yourself doing in the future? Like at that time. Is that something you mm. wanted to pursue seriously? Because then you get injured. Hell yeah. Did you like, get injured? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your knee, right? I told my ACL. Oh, okay. Like, the third week of the season. <clears throat> your senior year, right? Yeah. That shit fucked nah, up. Nah, my junior year. You know, I ain't get surgery. Oh, yeah, you didn't even get to play. To my, to that summer. Yeah, so one, no film so, being yeah. made. I ain't get to do shit for the last two years. But, uh, shit. I really. End up moving with my granny 
Because mm -hmm. I had got arrested in sixth grade. In sixth grade? Yes, bro. Look, <laughs> what the fuck was you so doing? I was living in North Dallas off of uh, Powell Street. Okay. And something happened to where these niggas basically came and told me some niggas about to jump my brother at the movies that's about to run the company. His ass. So me, y'all went up there with these niggas. We going to the movies, we about to fight, but they got like security and shit, so they tell us to get out. So as we walking out, we on the outside walking down the stairs, and I just heard one of the police officers yell, yeah, uh, get them. We just, I'll take out running this nigga chasing They catch all like that. Five minutes. Damn! So I went to a building, I tried to um, go in the building, but it, the doors was locked. So by this time, he done caught up. Mm. And this when they first came out with the new tasers. It looked like it's shit in the shape of a gun. Mm -hmm. This when they first got through and this nigga had the whole pointed at me and shit. You thought it was it had like three little red dots on it. I was like, Oh, hell no. So Spooked the shit out of me. Nah, he told oh. me don't move, but he was. I was like, shit, nigga, you that got it. Still, shit, uh, nigga, so, I don't know what the fuck that is. At that time, that's like one of the times when my mama was like gone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I ended up moving my granny because I had to do first offender classes and shit. Mm -hmm. So my record could get exposed and shit or whatever. So, yeah, in the right. process, d lock is gonna get arrested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Funny thing is, the nigga wasn't even there. Oh, hell. Where the fuck was, where the was he was at? at? <laughs> Whataburger. The fuck? Like next to the movies just eating and shit. Big chilling, you all over there trying to look for a nigga. So I'm like, I had these niggas, I mean some shit basically, so. We ended up moving out here. And shit, yeah. Everybody really already remembered us because we was back and forth a lot mm -hmm. anyways. And this is when you was going, kind of going towards middle school, huh? Yeah. Yeah. When we moved back out here for good, mm -hmm. it was the end of like sixth grade year. Mm -hmm. So, when we moved out here, it really was, the only thing different was it wasn't just the hood type shit. But it was still black. Yeah. It, it was, was still kind of yeah, still, still, still fighting, fighting still doing the same shit. It just it wasn't. wasn't the hood. Yeah. Because everybody was at that time migrating from mm -hmm. the hood. That's how it was for me. Um, We're going to talk about. It was a time I remember you getting on Facebook. And you made these controversial ass comments. And I almost want to punch you in the face through the, through the computer. Because I'm like, nigga, you don't know what you're talking about. You ain't never had no fucking baby. <laughs> so, so, let's get it. so, what the fuck? Where, where did you hear this information from? You think? Okay, so let me break it down to y'all before the, the placenta. Uh, okay. Wait, you got some else that they was getting on yesterday? Nah, I was finna say yeah, this much. Okay, so he's really big on like natural births. He has he has no kids yet, but when he does have them, I think he wants if this fucking piece of hair, y'all. When he does have kids, I think he's going to want his mate to have a home birth. He's going to suggest that, advise it. I'm sure. I hope he comes up with the funds to take care of that because his shit is expensive. But, uh, yeah. So, he made some controversial comments. And a lot of people was not being understanding about it. They pretty much got on his ass because he was like, y'all need to keep y'all ass at home. Have that baby in the fucking house. And don't detach the placenta. Anybody that do that research would know that that is pretty much facts. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way this nigga delivered it. So come on, <laughs> come on, talk to me, talk to me. Where you heard this from? What made you so big? And you was really, really passionate about this when you first learned about it. I'm assuming. Yeah. So like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, when I said it, I think <laughs> I still need to do a little bit more, like Research just reading. Before you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was just dope information that I got. So you know. Okay. But the reason why everybody was mad because I said they stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just need talking shit. Why are you uh, calling people stupid, bro? Like, I follow this dude named Yada yeah. on Instagram. I seen you post him on Instagram. And, and you go to uh, his page. Right. He real dope. He like a holistic teacher. He mm -hmm. do different, like, uh, natural remedies for different diseases like cancer or even, like, high blood pressure. All the way down to, like, fucking acne and shit. Okay. But, and he teach, like... Uh, he a raw vegan, so yeah, he I eat, saw. they make like yeah. At home. That shit, that's the shit I want to do, but that shit so hard. But it's all about discipline. It's discipline. But he basically his him and his his wife had uh, their second, 
Well, they had, she got a daughter. She got a daughter without him, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the baby they got together, they had a little boy. Mm -hmm. And she did an at-home birth. And she left the placenta on until they fell off on his own. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they was doing it, I was paying attention to it a lot because I always wonder how that shit, you know, how the process work and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that it's still, like, nutrients and, you know, stuff that the baby need in the placenta. Once they take off the placenta. It's yeah. stuff that we can still be using to ourselves. But really what I guess I wanted to say was leave it on long enough for, for it to the be baby healthy to, for the baby. Yeah. But y'all acting just like y'all dumb as fuck. Y'all be letting yeah. put the placenta off of y'all and take but it that, in. But me saying it like that came from like me researching like they actually sell placenta, placenta on yeah. like black markets and shit like that. And so people, you actually did your research on that? Yeah. And people like actually eat placenta like. I heard that. Okay. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got a special guest today. But before we get into that, um, y'all know I be drinking. So, I'm trying to do wine. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying, but it's something that I just said I was going to get because it was cute when I was in the stove. And I like the bottle. And as you can see, it's halfway gone because I got a glass right here. He got a cup. And my friend back there that's off camera got a cup. So, I'm going to tell y'all my opinion on this. I just like how cute the bottle is. It's like a little rose at the bottom. And this is rosé. I made it look cute. With some berries in there with a strawberry on the side he just got a regular glass because he you know he a nigga we i'm trying to be fancy and shit so anyway that's it that's all welcome back to my youtube channel and we finna get to it we got some real shit to talk about this is an interview slight discussion not a story time this time but we're gonna talk about some real shit some controversial shit that y'all be like Ready to beat this nigga ass about really <laughs> technically that's what it is okay because y'all been waiting for this and it's time okay so, without further ado, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Colorism and you know light skin. You you see you see it on your, yourself on Facebook. Yeah. Like females, you just see females going back and forth about their skin tone. Like, but like even personally, I get that shit. Like, and I understand personally where it comes from because D like basically light skin. Yeah. And I always been the darker twins. Like, yeah. Even when we was young, I was a lot darker than this. Yeah. So, like. So she did. I wasn't really getting like like that for a little bit until people start finding out. That's crazy cool. you bring that up. You know, I always wondered that. Like, did that ever like be something? Because I ain't gonna lie. Like, like, I'm, gonna, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna keep it all the way a thousand. Cool. I used to feel like I was in D like shadow a lot, especially like early on, like freshman year to. Like junior. Because he was the light skin. He was more yeah. outgoing, and you was just and more conservative. He was like, this nigga was running varsity track. Yeah, I remember. Like, compared to him, I was slow. <laughs> I'm just keeping it relaxing. For real. But it just came with me having to... Just, I started figuring out who well, you I are. was. Basically. Yeah. And y'all looked alike. But nobody knew... I didn't know y'all was twins at first until Bro, I found out y'all was brothers. A lot of people just started finding out. Y'all were twins. Was twins. like maybe two years ago. And that's crazy. I mean, people be like, like, bro, this is my brother. They be like... Hell nah, show me a baby picture. Nigga. Like, I got a baby picture in my phone that I yeah. show people. Like, yeah. Nigga, that's, that's. As we got older and out of school, people be like, I used to like you. Who now you say that? that, but you probably was trying to talk to my brother. Nigga. Like, Type like you. get the fuck so out of here. Someone said that shit too. Like, yeah. I wish I would have met you before D. Like, that shit do play back, like, from far. And it's really kind of it's kind of fucked up because I want to say it's our fault, but it's not our fault either at the same time. Like, yeah. Cause we kind of like was it? shit. The fuck they put that shit in in our face like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even with like how they say, um, how they say they put the light skinned slaves in the house and the dark skinned slaves had to stay outside. And only naturally it probably it stirred up a feeling in both sides. For like, sure. Okay, so it made probably made the light skin feel like, I'm oh yeah, house, I'm important. Yeah. I'm yeah. more important than y'all. Yeah. Shit. But everybody wanna know this other stuff you be talking about because your ass be on this whole going in. Yeah. I just wanna know what's your insight on this coronavirus? Yeah, you know the coronavirus is going I, on. What's your opinion? Like just go ahead and put it out there. For the people who family Man, we don't care. Cause oh. that shit fucked up. We do care about that. Sorry, but I do feel like this shit is a social experiment. Like I tell people all the time when I saw that picture of that fucking 
Last time I bought them from like 2018. That said Corona owner yeah, like already. Once I seen that, it kind of good. I was kind of like, all right, this some bullshit. It's some bullshit, but, bro. <laughs> That shit fucked up. I feel like the government do do a lot of shit to kind of use us as guinea pigs to see how we gonna. So react. with that, okay, you see they trying to open everything back up. Oh, That's your opinion on that the shit corona. Fucked up. That shit fucked up. That like fucked up. my thing is, we really, really still lost. My love. opinion for the real, for real about <laughs> that shit though, bro. If you wearing gloves all day, you're stupid. <laughs> if you wearing a mask all day, you just gotta be clean. Make sure you stay clean. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Y'all should have been doing that. Really Y'all not taking do. showers. I don't repost the different little uh, remedies and shit that came across that people say they doing. All right, so the final controversy topic that we got that you really, re this is what you really be getting all the fucking, getting all the fucking controversy for. That's the religious shit. So, all right, look, look hold on, wait. <laughs> he's sick of it already. Like, fuck it, fuck it. I've never said I don't believe in a high power or none of that shit. Fuck I just me. don't fuck with Christianity. But I only say that because even when I was young, I was conflicted about that shit too. Because I used to be at church and I used to see the same 10 people catch the Holy Ghost to the point where I thought something was wrong with me. <laughs> I'm just being real. Like, we real talk, like. I think someone's wrong with you, Jewel. Because I used to be in that motherfucker, like. Like, damn, why I ain't calling the Holy Ghost? I used to be head. trying to figure out, like, how they catching the Holy Ghost. So, what do you think the Holy Ghost, like, do you think they just really just, like, just feeling the music and, like, yeah, that's my song, and I'm gonna just get lit to that? I just book. told somebody this other day, I was like, we don't really realize how powerful our brains are. Like, to the point where we could believe in something so much. And be like, yeah, I feel that. that it, it becomes our reality. Dang, you know like, you would that be. So, <laughs> it just, I don't know. You can believe in something so deeply that it takes over you emotionally. So, so, so that's where you think the Holy Ghost comes yeah, from? Yeah, I feel like the Holy Ghost is just But, okay, so this uh, is my thing. Emotion. God and Jesus are two different people. Like. For one, I feel like some of the people that start getting interested in religion for whatever religion it is, when they start learning something. Even like we, when I started learning something, I started just regurgitating this shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. So some people just start regurgitating shit and they just be saying shit that they've been hearing all their life or whatever the case may be. Like, and I, even with religion, I feel like for a lot of people, it wasn't even that you chose to be Christian. How? Or you chose it's to stuff, be religious. People so holy and down, it's but they having sex and raping kids in the church and stuff, you know? Yeah, it's like you grew up in a household that whole structure was based off of just going like, to church and shit like this. So it's like you had to be a part of it. It's and that like goes back to chose. slavery, bro. Like I don't want to argue about it, so I don't even just partake. Like, But your ass do be arguing about it. No but I will. Like, you know what I mean? You, yeah. I will talk about the shit. Like. So, but I feel like people who are religious or Christian to a certain sense are First of all, too judgmental because that's man. Like, you know what I've heard? I've even heard Christian, about you that you're a dark about. person and you're evil because you don't have a religion. But you just said you believe in a higher power. Yeah. You're just not a Christian. You they don't make you an atheist. Whew. So, okay, so y'all got that understood for the people that's really confused on his perspective on it. Look, more love. I'm just more saying. love, more just like more love. And it's not that he don't believe in a higher power, y'all. So stop looking at my my motherfucking brother like he a fucking evil ass person. Probably got one of the best. I, I mean, even, you probably don't give a fuck. I don't even care about that shit. No but more. people will say God don't make no mistakes, but the same people will feel like the one way he should let his son turn himself into a girl. Damn. That's deep. Cause I'm sitting here thinking. Like, like boys, I'm analyzing them it. like boys, but why I'm is it so okay it. for men to turn us into? But Chubby said God don't make mistakes, so y'all basically say saying God he made a mistake. Deep, deep. Shout out to Ladeja. That's some deep shit. Then that's when the oh we have free will shit come in. What or what are we talking about now? So then how you are just you just running around in circles? <laughs> So, 
we're gonna get ready right to that. I really wanna start writing this shit for people though. So you wanna be a ghostwriter? You should write for JG. You niggas make money. <laughs> you should write for JG. Whoa. Alright, so what is your opinion on the Dallas music scene right now? Good or bad? Uh, my opinion yeah. on it is it's great. Door wide open. So really all people gotta do is put it. Uh, the baby just dropped the album. Have you listened to it? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't um I didn't listen to it until like you told me we was gonna talk about it. So mm -hmm. finally I just let it play. Mm -hmm. But I fuck with it like You like it? I like how he He goes into really another era. I like hear him kinda switch it up. Then that hardcore Then that just rapid pace, you know what I'm saying? But that, it was cool, I fuck with it. I like that track he did when he got a shunty on that motherfucker. That with him and Meg, yeah, I like yeah how that he, whole he, I like how he reversed people, that whole. A lot of people gonna like they'll use a sample or whatever, so I like how he actually got her in the studio, yeah, so, like, he got her to yeah, re basically yeah, remake her yeah, own yeah, song, yeah, yeah. Cool. and the song just jammed that, that song, that song specifically jammed to me. Yeah, um, really the rest of it gotta grow on me, but hey, for the most part, that song jammed, yeah. Now, I mean, I didn't feel like I needed to go. To the thing and change the song type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I probably had like one or two songs was that, did, cool. that was like that. I didn't feel like it was the same shit over and over. Nah, like, cause usually his albums, like, you know, he hop on track immediately. As soon as the beat drop, he on the hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, with Not that being even said, that I don't think he be, the songs are good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it just It's different like than it's, what he A lot was. of it really sound to, you know, similar. I ain't gonna say the same. It was, you know. Now, since we was talking about Dallas artists and we was talking about um, the Dallas music scene, I don't know if you know, but the baby used to keep his ass in Dallas no, every I other weekend. I didn't even know that shit. Man, this boy stay in Dallas. And honestly, a lot of I see some controversy on somebody's page where they was like that um, he is Lil Ronnie. Like... He's the new age little runny. If you sit there and you really look back on it, this is the little runny stuff. The way the baby raps and the way little runny rap, I can see where they're coming from, but it's a different type. They rap about different shit. Yeah. But if little runny really wants to be a lyricist, he could. He just chooses not to. I ain't gonna lie. The way I think, this is my opinion. Little runny is one head of the lyricist. Mm -hmm. It's just, I feel like. A lot of people feel like since he started out doing throw that ass in the circle, yeah, hey, that, that, that. it's kind of like he almost he should have came out got serious. Stuck in a box. Cause then when he came out, I had to get to that money, nigga. Then he yeah. came out with the real shit. I was no, like, yeah, hey, they showed me, they showed me how versatile it was. They used to be my anthem when I was in the strip club. Yeah, he can. Yeah, I feel like he about. I'm not gonna say <laughs> it that he took a little bit of our swagger, bro. Then you go look at Bop. He doing a Dougie in that hole. He doing a, uh, what else? The South Dallas swag in that hole. The Jeff Boys are still doing the South Dallas swag. Yeah. I feel like he was inspired. I'm just gonna put it out there. Somebody might shoot like me. I, I feel like this, like this whole wave right now. Is everything inspired was inspired by, by this Dallas year. fucking Texas. If not just Dallas, Texas, Texas period. Like, when we was on that boogie move and dancing. Bro, that nigga, they ain't hitting up. Bro, this piece, y'all. This fucking piece right here. <laughs> they be they was hitting the South Dallas swag. Don't nobody even know that that's the South Dallas swag. People gonna be in this talking about <laughs> Not even knowing that that is a dance that we created, y'all. That shit crazy. So I just wanted to get your opinion on the, the baby album because you know there is a recent album that came out this week. You know, and it's a little yeah, different than what we. So now we're gonna play a game. <laughs> So it's five questions. You got ten seconds to answer each question. And yeah, it all is involved with music. Um, so I hope you're ready to answer questions because you only got ten seconds. So let me know when you're ready. We're gonna get started. You ready? Yeah. You're ready. All right. So my first question is: Top five artists right now. Don't talk about the past. I'm talking about right now. And you got ten, nine. No order. Eight. Little baby. Little baby. Young boy, Drake, and hey! what was that? Uh, 
was it? Three? I ain't gonna lie, I just put, I put Meg the Stallion in that motherfucker. Okay, because I, I did say right now, and that's mm -hmm. that is who hot right now. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I agree with that list. Next okay. question If you could collab with any Dallas artist, who would it be, male or female? Ten. Nah. Mm, I'll I do a collab with Jason Lee. Um, I do some shit with Big Trap Boy, but I I think I'll take them out of their lane if we did a um, like a different type of song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. hate him on some old shit. Okay. Um, two seconds up. And all right, <laughs> who would you sign to if you had a chance to sign to any artist? Who would you sign to? Ten, mm -hmm. nine. If I'm thinking yeah. about becoming my own boss, I'll probably do like MMG, wow. Rock Nation, but I'll do like a partnership. Why? Why those? I'll do a partnership because I can have a lot of creative control, and I still be able to uh, uh, grow myself at the same time. Okay. Okay. So that's who you would start to. Okay. Next question. Two local artists that are slept on at this moment. Local artists. Ten. Mm -hmm. Nine. Charles K. Eight. Mm -hmm. Don't key. Five. Don't be biased. No, I'm not being biased. Oh. I'm okay. Real. <laughs> okay. This is the fifth question for the 10-5 game. What female artist, I mean, you kind of already answered this, but I want you to answer it and why. If this is the same answer, what female artist is running the game right now? Ten. Mm. I can only say who I see, so I'll say Big Stag. Okay. And that's only because you hear her all over the radio. Yeah. She always going viral for doing something. Yeah. And she really, she, she queen of the way. What do you think her body's supposed to look like at 25? What the fuck? I mean, though I'm going to be 25 and I still look 16. That's besides the point. That's how your body's supposed to look. That's how you're supposed to look at the age of 25. I'm just hoping that one day I just wake up and, you know. It's like your next up and coming thing. Uh, my goal this year is to drop at least like three projects mm -hmm. with maybe like 10 singles. Or you want to do visuals? Because so, those matter nowadays. Yeah, for sure. I really want to drop, have all the visuals done for all Before the Before you projects. drop everything. Yeah, so I can That's just smart. drop and still be recording new shit. And I'm glad you finally got to come on the show. Because people have been waiting on this. Y'all finally got it. Here y'all go. I've been on my grind, yeah. I can't waste no time, yeah. Money on my mind, yeah. yeah. Cause I remember time, yeah. I had nothing but right. So much pressure on my spine, yeah. I ride around with my window. This the shit that they been waiting on. I pitch this shit like Johnny Pepper Bomb. I do this shit for my niggas gone that can't come home. I'm on the grind, don't hit my line, I'm in my zone. No need for tag alongs. My nigga Rico caught a 10 from getting ratted on. I guess that's just how shit unfold when niggas.